Saint Dominic Novena. Day 7. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O glorious Saint Dominic, thou who wast a model of mortification and purity, by punishing thy innocent body with scourges, with fastings, and with watchings, and by keeping inviolate the lily of thy virginity. Obtain for us the grace to practice penance with a generous heart, and to keep unspotted the purity of our bodies and our hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O great saint, who, inflamed with divine love, didst find thy delight, in prayer and intimate union with God, obtain for us the grace to be faithful, in our daily prayers, to love our Lord ardently, and to observe his commandments with ever-increasing fidelity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O glorious Saint Dominic, who, being filled with zeal for the salvation of souls, didst preach the gospel, in season and out of season, and didst establish the order of friars preachers, to labor for the conversion of heretics and poor sinners. Pray thou to God for us, that he may grant us the grace to love all our brethren sincerely, and to cooperate always by our prayers and good works in their sanctification and eternal salvation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O renowned champion of the faith of Christ, most holy Saint Dominic, who renounced the honor and dignity of an earthly principality to embrace the poor, laborious, and mortified life, which should distinguish a disciple of him, who has said, If any man will come after me, let him take up his cross and follow me. O burning torch, who being yourself, consumed with the fire of divine love, incessantly labored to enkindle that sacred flame in the hearts of others. Look down upon me from that throne of glory where you enjoy the reward of all your labors and obtain that some sparks of that blessed fire 
may be lighted in my soul, to animate and encourage me under any crosses or trials with which it shall please the divine goodness to visit me. You, O great saint, regards as nothing all the afflictions you endured and all the toils you underwent for the promotion of God's holy cause. Obtain, I beseech you, that the same ardent love which strengthened you may make sweet to me labors, humiliations, disgraces, or whatever other mortifications I may have to suffer for the name of Jesus. May I ever bear in mind that nothing can happen to me but by the particular dispensation of a God who is infinitely wise and therefore knows what is best for my welfare, infinitely powerful and consequently able to effect it, and above all, infinitely merciful and loving, who has laid down his life for my redemption and continues daily to give new proofs of his love and bounty. O tender father of the poor, who, when all other resources were exhausted, offered yourself for their relief, obtain for me that true spirit of compassion for the suffering members of Jesus Christ, which shone forth so conspicuously in your holy life, may I, by charity to those whom Jesus so dearly loves, lay up for myself treasures in heaven, where you now enjoy that which the eye has not seen, nor the ear heard, nor the heart of man conceived, but which God has prepared for those who love him and who prove themselves his disciples by the observance of his divine precept, love one another. I praise and thank God for the high degree of sanctity to which he had raised you and the special privileges by which he has distinguished you. I call upon you by that gratitude which you shall for all eternity have for your divine benefactor. Implore for me the grace to root out of my heart whatever is not agreeable in his sight, especially that evil habit by which I most frequently offend him. Obtain likewise the favors I request in this novena through your powerful intercession. Pause for a while and make your request. O glorious Mother of God, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, you who loved Saint Dominic with the affection of a mother and were most tenderly loved and honored by him. Look upon me, for his sake, with an eye of pity, deign to join with him in presenting these petitions to your most blessed Jesus. I sincerely desire from this moment to love him with all my heart and serve him with all my strength and now place myself under your powerful protection. As a sure means of obtaining all the graces necessary to serve him faithfully here, that I may eternally rejoice with him hereafter. Amen. Pray for us, Blessed Father, Saint Dominic, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Holy Father, Saint Dominic, who showed us the way to eternal happiness and won many souls to God by founding the Order of Friars Preachers, pray for us, that we may follow in your footsteps and ever work for the glory of God and the salvation of souls through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.